That sexting is the largest ever in Northeast Wisconsin, and it led to 24 arrests. 11 of the 24 people were taken into custody in Brown County. They were charged yesterday. 13 others were arrested by other law enforcement agencies, and many of them have also been charged. This was the fifth operation of its kind in two years in Northeast Wisconsin, but officials say this one led to more arrests. Investigators posed as 15-year-old girls and boys on Internet sites like Craigslist. They say they hope this type of sting will generate more publicity and conversation about online sex crimes that involve children. Officials say 19 different agencies took part in the investigation and more arrests could happen in the next few days. Law enforcement is taking a more proactive approach to fighting child Internet sex crimes, and so are the county officials who hold the checkbooks. Fox 11's Bill Miston explains. I think it still surprises us on the amount of arrests that we made. Brown County Sheriff's and Internet here. sex crimes investigators say this past weekend's operation was made easier by having multiple agencies working together. More than 15 local, state, and federal agencies were involved. You know, I think with budget constraints, it's, it's difficult to just keep on adding people to certain positions within, within the departments. And uh, what we're doing with the agencies represented here and represented on the list is we're cooperatively working together. I mean, we're, we're sharing the manpower. And more manpower to help track down and prosecute cyber predators is already helping the department or is on its way. Two additional sheriff's office crime analysts are included in the county executive's proposed 2015 budget. The county already greenlighted their hiring. One of those analysts even served in an observational role in the most recent sting operation, paid through money in the previous budget. Officials say it's a matter of efficiency. This way we can continue to have our investigators doing the investigative portion of the, of the case and have the analyst uh, facilitating that investigation and leaving them freed up to do police work. Taxpayers should be proud about the way their money is being spent. County Executive Troy Streckenbach says the positions are an unfortunate but needed use of taxpayers' money. The county's Public Safety Committee approved the hiring and budget inclusion late this summer. If we're not addressing and if we're not uh, appropriating the dollars to tackle the issue, uh, the problem only continues to uh, strength or get worse. In Green Bay, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. More than $92,000 is budgeted for the two full-time analyst positions. Additional money for the district attorney's office is being allocated to handle the increase in sex crimes prosecutions.